I'm super excited and, and honored to be here tonight for the kickoff of the 2022 campaign for Universal Meals. Um, it truly is time for every student in every Vermont public school to have the same opportunity to thrive with Universal Meals. For almost two years now, we've been feeding kids under the Universal Meals waivers. Um, we aren't running registers. We aren't running POS systems. We are making awkward phone calls to families trying to collect bad debt um, that are struggling to make ends meet. What we're doing is we're just feeding kids and we're doing it really well. Um, Universal Meals are allowing us to focus our energy and resources where it belongs on top quality meal programs. We're serving high quality, healthy meals that appeal to students and provide the nourishment they need to succeed. In my district, this is Westford, we've closed our snack bars and we've eliminated a la carte lines from our cafeterias. Every student has access to the same nutritious foods. With that shift, our serving lines have changed. We're seeing more than 67% increase of students that are choosing school meals. Higher participation, closing a la carte lines, and the focus on a strong meal program have normalized our serving lines to the point where students feel comfortable and school lunch stigma is in full retreat. In a recent survey, the School Nutrition Association of Vermont asked parents, in what ways have meals provided at no cost to students or families been helpful to your children? A parent from Founders Memorial School in Essex said, it guarantees her access to good food, even if she's distracted or forgets to pack food for herself. And she doesn't feel a stigma attached to whether she brings food or eats the school's food. We asked educators, what impact does the opportunity to provide school meals at no charge have on you as an educator? A teacher from Colchester Middle School said, I don't have to think about ways I can prevent my students from going hungry throughout the day. I can give my undivided attention to the reason why we're all here, to foster learning opportunities. A teacher from Union Memorial School in Colchester said, since more students are eating a complete meal, kids have more energy and less meltdowns, as well as more stamina to complete their work. By reducing the school lunch stigma, we are finally able to feed students with dignity, dignity that's eluded us prior to Universal Meals. Universal Meals are for all students and are part of a successful learning environment. Kids aren't ready to learn if they're hungry. We know this, it's a fact. The benefits and positive outcomes of investing in this basic human need far outweigh the expense. Schools provide books, paper, pens, pencils, computers, soap, tissues, countless other amenities. We're not invoicing families for bathroom supplies. Why do we stop at food? It doesn't make any sense. To the lawmakers who don't understand why it needs to be universal and why it doesn't work when it's only for those in need, it's about serving nourishment with dignity. It's about investing in the foundation of learning it's about providing every student with equal access to the same things while they're at school. Universal meals are working. It's not a theory. I see it and I live it every day. If you wanna see what it looks like, come join me for lunch. I'd love to have eat with you. Universal meals are an investment that's impacting the education system. It's making a real and a meaningful difference. Now it's time to make universal school meals permanent. Every student, every meal, every school. So let's push this over the finish line. Thanks for having me.